My name is Stan Day, President of SRAM. I want to give you an update on our hydro hour recovery plan. As we said in the January update, we are planning to begin delivering our new model year 2015 product the second half of April. Cyclists who already own bikes are our first priority. Now that we have completed our analysis of the hydro failure mode, I want to report to you what happened and what is new for our model year 2015 version. There were two mechanical issues that enabled the brake to ingest air, lose pressure, and fail. In the extreme cold, the system seals stiffen and become less compliant, which is why we saw the problem multiply in December. The first mechanical issue was that the cylinder bore was not cylindrical. Our manufacturing process parameters did not adequately control the part fabrication. The result was that there was an oval shape to the bore that was beyond what the seal was capable of handling, especially in extreme cold when the seal lost some of its compliance. The second issue is that the system created excessive negative pressure in the brake fluid reservoir. When it is controlled, negative pr pressure does not affect the brakes. We were not under control. We were operating outside of the seal's capability to compensate, especially in the extreme cold conditions, and the result was air ingested into the system. These two issues, in combination with normal manufacturing tolerance variation, could also allow failure of the system in warm riding temperatures. That is why we ask everyone to stop using the brakes. With our new model year 2015 production, we have fixed both issues as well as completed a number of normal improvements for second year production. Specific feature enhancements include a completely new lever body design that improves ergonomics, reduces weight, ensures better sealing on all critical surfaces, and improves shifter cable routing. There's a new bleed port design with better sealing and an easier user interface. And there is a new caliper spring to optimize rollback and reduce lever travel. We also have changed our testing. All cold weather testing for the recalled brakes have been done in the field, and believe me, our test riders thought we spent enough time with frozen hands and feet to have adequately completed testing. For the new product, we've added a battery of laboratory tests and environmental chambers. We are endurance testing this, this design from minus 20 Celsius or minus 4 Fahrenheit all the way up to plus 46 Celsius or 115 Fahrenheit. I'm very pleased and personally talking to a number of users, as well as getting feedback through our websites and sponsored athletes, that there is virtually unanimous agreement that everyone wants to get back on hydraulic brakes. U.S. Cyclocross national champion Jeremy Powers said, the reduced hand effort and improved power of hydraulic brakes is considerable. It seriously makes a big difference when I'm racing. It's it just gives me more control, saves energy, and gives me confidence. I really do miss the disc brakes and seriously can't wait to get back and going on them. Can't put it any other way. L. Anderson said, the hydraulic brakes just give you more security, more braking power, and allow you to brake later, modulate into turns, and shed speed as late as possible. I'm back on hydros as soon as possible. Ryan Trebone said, there's no question that hydraulics provide more, better, more power and better modulation. I'm excited to get them back on my bike and have more control. Cyclists want to be back on hydro. We look forward to begin delivering these new systems to you the second half of April. We are confident that you'll be thrilled with their performance. On behalf of the 3,000 employees at SRAM, we appreciate your support through this problem and please be confident that we're doing everything we can to get you out riding just as soon as possible. Thank you.